I first did this technique a fair while ago now. I've actually done it at one or two of my talks and uh, imagine my surprise. Went along to the forum this morning and there got a new member, Anthony. Welcome Anthony. Posted this brilliant picture and I thought, wow, that was the technique I used, but I must be honest, Anthony had done a much better job. What am I talking about? Well, you may well wonder. Taking this picture here, we're going to transform it into what I can only describe as being like one of those glass paperweight style images. Let's make a start. We're going to come to the Layers panel. We're going to use Command J or Control J on a PC to duplicate the background layer. We're going to go to Filter, Distort. We're going to drop down to Polar Coordinates, clicking on Polar Coordinates and clicking on Polar to Rectangular. Click OK to that. Next, we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. And that's just flipping Layer 1 vertically before going to Filter. Distort, Polar Coordinates one more time, this time Rectangular to Polar, click OK to that, and there is our glass bubble. Simple or what? Right, next we're going to go to Edit. We're going to go to Free Transform, which will put the Transform tool around this. Let's just drop it down. We're going to make it a bit more rounded in its shape. We're going to come to the outside, going to press down the Shift key. Holding the Shift key just maintains the correct proportions. That looks pretty good like that, and I think we're just going to swing it round by grabbing hold, twisting it. I think it looked pretty good from that sort of direction there. Pressing Enter or Return to apply the transform. Looks good so far, with the exception of this uh, sort of fringing on the outside. So let's have a look at getting rid of that. To help us, we're going to put in a new empty layer. Coming across, we're going to pick up the elliptical marquee tool dragging it over our bubble area, something like that would be pretty good. Clicking down, and because I've got the uh, the single selection, I can actually move this around. Not done a particularly good job, but we're not going to worry because we're going to go to Select, Transform Selection, which puts the Transform tool around our selection, and we can now move this into position, just dragging it out where we need to, a little bit like that, just in a bit more on the top there. That looks better. Enter or return to apply. Right, we can get rid of this now. So we now drop down the selections now working on layer 1. The reason for not doing this directly onto layer 1 is if we use the transform tool, it actually cuts the image. In other words, as you move it, so you'd see the image being revealed underneath on our background layer. So that's why we used the empty new layer. Right, select inverse because with the selection, of course, we selected the inside. Now we've selected around the outside. Edit, clear, we'll get rid of that fringing. Command D or Control D to get rid of the selection. So there is our glass bubble. Right, switching off layer one, clicking on the background layer because we're working on this. Let's have a look at uh, changing the look of our background. We're going to pick up the transform tool. We're going to click on this icon here, it's the fourth one along, so it's the banded type. Clicking in, selecting that colour will be pretty good. And, no it's not, we're going to double click on it because we're going to edit it. You forgot to do something. Click on this little slider here, you'll notice colour comes alive. Clicking on the colour, comes up the colour picker and we're going to pick a green colour like that. We're going to do exactly the same for the other side. Clicking down, once again just selecting the green off we go there. Yellow, a little bit bright, like the actual sort of idea of the yellow, but I think we'll just tone it down by just bringing this down a bit. Click OK to that. So there's our colour scheme for our background. We're going to click OK. Now we can come back to this. Going to click down, drag it over our image, something on the diagonal would be good. Job done. Switching on our glass bubble. There it is. Right, to make this look even glassier, what we're going to do is we're going to come down to this icon here. Just let me make the panel a little bit smaller. We're going to click on this. We're going to come to Blend in Options with the Layer Styles. If I just zoom in a bit and move this to the side so we can see exactly what we're doing. We're going to go to Styles. Now, in amongst the Styles, the top one here is like a little glass bead. We're going to click on this. So there's the glass effect. But do we need this? No, so you can switch off the gradient overlay. This one, do we need that? No, but you can see the nice glass effect coming through, so we can switch that off. The inner glow, yeah, I like what that's doing around this area here, so we'll leave that. 
and the bevel and emboss that's doing a huge amount this is the one we're going to work with now the first thing is that this lights here on this actual flower remember when it was switched off that's predominantly through this area so let's work with that we're going to click on this we're going to drag it round which brings the light in from around that area there just going to lift it up a little bit more that looks pretty good there right coming down looking at the highlight mode here bringing this down you can see there it is this is the area we're now working on so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this to bring up once again the color picker but we're going to pick up the background color through it goes there it gives that nice glassy look click OK once again reducing the opacity to taste gonna drop that down a bit like that looks pretty good right let's have a look at this one here that's the background color there you can see that adjust and you might want to just take this down even further that looks pretty good or once again we can come we can just sample the background like that and bringing that in now I'm gonna drop that right down great stuff got a nice glass effect there I like that finally we're just going to click on drop shadow and if we just move the drop shadow like this I've just detected see that little piece moving in on the end there that's just the part when we did the clear you can see that just creeping in not going to worry about that for just a second let's increase the size up a little bit just moving it down again click OK there it is job nearly done simply going to pick up the eraser tool going to come to this there just get rid of that there how dare you right moving it across there it is there is our finished image you can see it gives a nice sort of it looks like one of those paperweights looking down directly on top of one of those glass paperweights uh, no insects were hurt in the making of this video go on give it a try until the next time happy imaging and take care